Some of the best video games that has ever been created is without a doubt the Pokemon main series games, with new games still being released in supersonic pace. For me, there is two games that forever will be my favorite ones, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green version. Even though I played these games since I was a little child and finished countless shiny hunts on and off camera, I have never done a Dream Team quest before in these games. Last year, I spent a lot of time hunting on my Game Boys. This year, I'll be taking a different approach. I will be shiny hunting for six chosen targets to form a Dream Team of shiny Pokemon and then take on the Elite Four for basically a hundredth time or something. My name is Nils, and with that being said, you are now watching episode 2 of my Pokemon Fire Dream Team Quest. Hope you enjoy. No, like I swear. Yeah, 20 faces. 213k. You don't believe me? Oh! Sorry guys, hi, Nils here. Yeah, I just told the search about the Rudian Force package I just obtained. Man did it believe me. Let me head outside. Start the introduction. There we go. Here. <laughs> Sorry guys. Sorry. Nils here. Welcome back to the Fire Red Dream Team Quest. Target number 2, Shelder, as you can see there on the right. I haven't decided 100% yet if I will go for either Horsey or Shelder. I guess it depends on which one I get. Obviously Cloyster is super cool, but like shiny Kindra dude, I don't know. With that being said guys, here's the encounters. As you can see, 1% Psyduck, 15% Gyarados, 44% Horsey, 40% Shelder. Let me cast my rod, see which Pokemon that wants to appear for the introduction. There we go. And... A regular Shelder. Go Billy, and I will catch you guys when something shines. I've done almost 300 of this hunt, single system. I'm, be I'm becoming a single system roam runner. something for the video, now's your chance. I'll just say, I was unmotivated. What? <coughs> what this hunt? Oh, dude. Holy shit, look how beautiful that, that looks. That appeared after 9,759 fish encounters. Oh, dude. Okay, so... Let me explain a few things here, I'm not sure if I said it in my introduction or not. But the thing is, obviously my original plan was to include like a shelter on the DTQ. But like during, or like at, at the start of the hunt essentially, or like halfway through I guess, I was kind of thinking, if I get the horsey as well, I might as well just go with a horsey for the DTQ, considering like, I don't know dude, like shiny horsey, Seedra, Kingdra, whatever, it's just... 
I don't know, dude. I, I, I think they look so, so good. So I would name this Craft, by the way, because me and Must Mustafa have been joking today, like, how good my uh, my Entes have been, essentially, because I'm doing, like, Gen 3 booming Entei on the side right now in Fire Red. Uh, and I'm sick as well, by the way, so sorry for my voice being shit. But I will actually make a quick cut here, and I will be right back with some natures and some showcase. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you, dude! Yo! Okay, guys, we're back here on the route one, and I'm a guest Charlie for the nature. Must have a guess is quiet. If Sun was here, the man would have guessed Rash, and the nature is. Careful, alright, and look how good this looks with the blue border. Oh, I, oh, dude, I, I, dude, oh, okay, so once again, I'm actually so happy that I found this instead of Shelter for my DTQ, considering, I don't know, man, I'm just like a big, big fan of, of how this looks, and then that means that I have a reason to go back for Shelter, I guess. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's take a look at Chinese Horses sprite in Gen 3 of Pokemon. Normal Uncle Pete and shiny horsey. Oh, oh, dude. Dude. Yeah, like this this back sprite is actually way better than I thought most. Normal Pete once again. Shiny cracked the horsey. So I will make a quick cut here and I will be back with the evolution of Cedra. Unfortunately I cannot show off Kindra right away, because actually you know what? I'll be back with Kindra, and I will explain why. One second. Okay guys, we're back here at Route 6. I've spent a lot of time into finishing up the game. I will tell you why in just a second, but before we do so, let's evolve this horsey into a Cedra. It evolves at level 32, so... Here we go. Shiny horsey into shiny Cedra. I've never actually seen Cedra's shiny sprites like... I don't know, live or whatever. So, because I've never obviously obtained it, so this is gonna be really cool. It's a really, really pretty shine in my opinion. Look at that. The the very like deep purple. I, I'm a huge fan of this line. I think it looks god tier. It's just such a good shiny. Look at that. Let's throw it into a random encounter as well. Normal Meowth. And shiny Cedra. <laughs> really, really good shiny in my opinion. Let's look, take a look at it once again. Normal PG and shiny Cedra. Damn. Okay. So now for the the thing I just talked about. In order to get Kingdra in these games. You need to obtain the national decks, because Kindra is obviously not one of the 151 Pokemon. And for me to do so, I, as you can see, now have obtained 8 badges. And I basically just completed the entire game, obtained the badges, beat Elite 4 with some other monsters that traded over from a master file. I, ca I caught 60 Pokemon, and basically did like a lot of grinding, like finished the post-game event with the Lorelei in the forest and whatever in order for me to show you guys the Kingdra Evolution Showcase. And this is a DTQ, and I usually like end up my DTQs with like the battling Delete 4 and Champion things. So I guess since we already have done that now, I will be taking on the Elite 4 Part 2 with Kingdra. And the, and the entire team, obviously. But yeah, guys, let's actually hop over to my game that runs as peace and trade over my Shiny Seedra with Heart Scale. Because that's the evolution item for it to evolve. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, there we go. This is actually the <laughs> the third time I'm trying this, considering I the first time I used the heart scale instead of the dragon scale. Rookie mistake. Second time I forgot to get myself the national Pokedex, considering I literally like did all this grinding today. So this is try number three. This should work though without any fandom. So here's the part where it usually just like interrupts the ev evolution if you haven't obtained the national decks. But as you can see there, it's still evolving, which results into a pink, gorgeous, shiny K 
keen, bro. Just like that. Oh, dude. Perfect. Perfection. I will trade this back to my DTQ file and then I will see you guys on the capture card for the last showcase. There we go guys, we're finally back and man, this has been quite the grind. As you can see though, we are here on the right file with DTQ member number 2, Shiny Kindra. Let's have a look into a random encounter of how the back sprite of this gorgeous shiny Pokemon looks like. So, we have my mascot. And a shiny, good looking pink Kingdra. Dude, this was actually more intense than I thought to obtain this, but yeah, that's not ish. And shiny Kingdra. Considering I had to do all the grinding, back and forth leveling, accidentally putting on a heart scale instead of a dragon scale into the evolution, as I said earlier. But yeah guys, I will wrap up the video now. Thank you so much for watching, consider subscribing if you're new, please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. My name is Nils, and I will see you in the next video. Good luck in your hands.